Hey guys, and welcome back to another UK random video. Right, so today I fancy having a bit of a rant. What I am going to rant about is eBay. Not about the concept, not about my selling experiences. I'm going to rant about some sellers, not all sellers, some sellers. Sellers who are pricks. Now, let's go back a bit. Now, I've been using eBay for, I would say, the best part of 20 years. The first time I remember that I can remember using eBay must have been 2003, 2004. Um, brilliant. Brilliant concept. You've got something you don't want anymore. You put it on this website. You can say, I want 10 pounds for this item. And someone can say, yes, I'll take it. Job done. Or you can say, you know what? I'm going to put this for a pound. Let people bid and see how much I can get for it. Awesome concept. Um, as a buyer, you have the choice of buying something for a price that you feel reasonable. You also have the chance to try your luck and bid for something and hopefully get it for a really good bargain. Um, some geezer pissed me off this week. Now, as a seller, I have a choice to say, here, let me just grab the first thing that's in front of me. I want £20 for this. I put it on eBay. Buy it now, £20. Or I might think, you know what? I want about 20 ish pounds. So buy it now for £20 or make your best offer. If I'm happy with the offer, I'll accept it. If I'm not happy, I won't. Happy days. I could also say, you know what, this thing is worth 20 quid. I'm going to start the bidding at a tenner. Let's see what I get for it. Because I'm looking on eBay and people are selling for about 15, 16 quid. I'll stick it for a tenner, leave it there for a week and see, see what it gets to. You have a choice. What this prick did... He put his item up for sale. What I was bidding on is irrelevant. It makes no difference. However, I will tell you what it is just to give this story a bit of context. Um, recently, Funko released um, a diecast figure of Darth Vader from Star Wars. I had to throw that last bit in in case someone's watching and doesn't know what a Darth Vader is. Ooh, what a Darth Vader. Anyway, they were for sale on their website for £50, which is the going price for it. Now you can get either the common version or, if you're lucky, usually a one in six. I'm not sure if that's the same with these ones. One in six chance that you'll get the chase, which, fantastic. Now, the value of the chase is probably £100, maybe just over £100. So the price of the common has dropped down to about 40 something pounds. Not quite the 50 pounds that you, but that's not the point. It's going, the going value is 40, say it's say 43 pounds. Now, I was looking at a load of listings, what people were selling them for, or also what people have put them up by auction for. Now, this one prick, had it the starting price twenty pounds, plus I think three pounds thirty five postage, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to bid on this, but I'm willing to spend thirty quid. That's what I'm willing to pay for it. If I don't win it, I don't win it. It ain't the end of the world. So I bid twenty six pound sixty five, so that. With the postage, it would have been 30 quid. I think my maths was correct. Now, I'm just doing this all off the top of my head now. 
So, to cut a long story short, I was the first bidder. Bang. So, it's gone on. It started at £20. So, I even though I bid £26, um, whatever it was, my bid that was live was £20. So, as someone else would bid, it will go up gradually. If they bid £21, it would have gone up to 22 And then so on and so on. Anyway, I get a notification. There's... The countdown had begun. I think it does that when there's about an hour or so to go. I'm like, oh, I'm still the only bidder. Let's keep an eye on this because someone's going to come in last minute and screw me over. Anyway, it pings. You have won. Wicked. Or so I thought. So anyway, I've won it. I'm like, all right, let's pay for it. Let's get it shipped. Um, I don't like keeping people waiting, you know what I mean? You know, they're selling things for different reasons. Some people are saying things because they need the money quick. You know, I don't like to piss people about because I want them to send it straight away. I don't want to take two, three days to pay for it and they take another two, three days to send it, you know. Anyway, it says, at the top of the list, it says closed. Well, what the fuck does that mean? I've gone on to it. Where's the pay now? He says, you purchased this on the 8th of July or whatever the date was. And it said the time. I'm like, okay, I've purchased it, but I didn't pay for it. I think it would it have automatically taken out of my PayPal? Would it have taken out of my bank? This is something new. Have they changed the way eBay works? You know, things change. Um, transactions evolve. Anyway. Check my bank account, nothing's come out. Check my PayPal, nothing's come out. What the fuck is going on here? So, I go back into it. And then it says, check cancellation. I'm like, what the fuck? So I clicked on it. And it says, the seller has confirmed the cancellation. I didn't cancel nothing. What the fuck are you doing? What's going on here? So I messaged him. Oh, mate, um, I won the Darth Vader die cast figure. But for some reason, it's telling me it's been cancelled. Is this an error? Did the prick reply? No. Messaged him again a few days later. Mate, any joy finding out what's going on with my Darth Vader figure? Get fuck all back. Now, what this prick has done is he's stuck this item on for 20 quid. It sold for 20 quid. And he's like, well, but I, I wanted more than that. I'm not selling it for 20 quid. Well, you fucking prick. You should have put a... You should have put a reserve. Because that is another prerogative you have, my friend. You start the bidding low, but you stick a reserve so that you get... You know what? Maybe you didn't want the full 50 quid. Maybe you would have been happy with 35. Start it at 20. Get people excited. But put a reserve of 35 quid. So you've mugged me off, you cock. Whose name I'm not going to mention because I don't have a fuck of a bum. I'm going to put it here. Name and shame the prick. Don't shop from people like this. These are people that are fucking stupid and selfish. If you wanted a certain amount for it, you sell it for that fucking price. Don't fucking tease us and test the waters. Ooh, are people going to bid on my item? You fucking knobhead. No, I can go and buy it from someone else. There's other people selling it. I'm not pissed off because I haven't got it. Because I'll get it. I'll get it tomorrow. I'll get it the next day. I don't care. If I want something and it's available, I will fucking buy it. I'm not begging for shit. But I bid fair and fucking square. In fact, I bid more than what I actually won it for. But this prick decided it wasn't enough for him. Well, fuck you. You fucking knobhead. Shit like this winds me up because you come on, guys. You know, if 
if you had a, no, I, I know, I'll give you a better example. I went to the toy fair in Cruise Hill. I think the last one I did was at Christmas, just before Christmas, I think it was. And um, I took a load of my old Funko Pops, all Funko Pops I don't fit into my collection. And there was one specific one that I priced up. I was unfair with my pricing. I don't. There's no point being extortionate, you know what I mean? If something's worth seven quid, I ain't going to try and sell it for 15. You know what I mean? It don't make sense. It's, it's pointless. You know, I'm not there to make a living from it. I'm there to move on things that I don't want. Anyway, so this young girl comes over. I'm chatting with her dad. She's looking at all the different things. She picks one up. She goes, oh, my God, I've wanted this one for ages. Did you know this is actually worth 30 d -d -d pounds? I was like, you know what? I had no idea. I didn't look up the price of it to price it up fairly. That's not the price I remember seeing. And she showed me the app. I'm like, fuck you know. And I've had it down for 15 quid. At that point, what kind of an ass would I be if I said, you know what? I'm not actually selling that one now. Or uh, I actually, yeah, it goes for 35, but I'll take 30. No. I priced it up at a price that I was happy to price it up. I don't just stick random prices on things. I'm like, you know what? This thing, I'm happy to sell it for £12. Um, I'll sell this for a tenner. Don't matter if this is worth 20 30 I was happy to put it at that price. Whether it's a wrong price, whether it's too much or not enough, that's not the point. That's the price I put it for. I'm not going to now take it off this child and say, oh, obviously made a mistake. No. So I sold it for that price. You can't change the rules as you're playing the game. Just something to think about, guys. Listen, I don't like to rant. Ranting does just happen naturally. But if you're going to do something, if you're going to sell on eBay, don't be a prick. If you want 50 quid for it, put it at 50 quid or put a reserve if you're going auction style. Simple. Don't piss people about, man. You know what I mean? I could have been buying that for my kid's birthday this weekend. Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass. Think about it. Don't be a dickhead. I know you can't help it. Whatever. Guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Has this crap happened to you? What happened? Did you get resolved or did the prick just not reply? Probably didn't reply, did they? Let me know down below. Some people are not. And you know what? Not only that, I'm going to do another video another time. I haven't been pissed off recently, but it's going to happen. And I could give you a whole new rant. But sometimes buyers piss me off with some of the stupid shit they message you. But that's another story for another day. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. We're going to see you soon for another video. Peace.